Hey guys, what's up? Toxic Poop Gaming here. We're here for another taste test. I know one was just uploaded on Tuesday, but uh, it, it it's okay. It's okay, and uh, I'm doing it solo today. I know it, it it's okay though. Solo is okay, but uh, we this is Italian food because I was at an Italian market, and I said why not pick up some food for a taste test and Italian food taste test. And look, I'm not wearing uh my Puma shirt, so hope you guys are happy. I've been getting a lot of hate from that. And, I'm just kidding. And, uh, yeah, let's jump into the taste test. Okay, first up, we have what I seem is a, it's Belgian chocolate fins right there. That's what they look like. Looks like, look, to me it looks like Pringles with little rice things in it. It says, luscious milk chocolate filled with crispy rice puffs. Simply irresistible. Well, let's see how they taste. Then, we'll see if they're simply irresistible. Some nice package, package like this. Ooh. And then some another package. Like, oh, yeah, there. It's upside down. Okay. <laughs> this is what they look like. Mmm, smell delicious. Wait, one, two, three, go. Mmm. 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 That's good. It's real good. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. So, it's like basically, if you know what a crunch bar is, it's like those chocolate crunch bars. See? And, uh, it, it tastes like that, only, you know, thin. So, Love. Nine out of ten. I love it. On to the next food, guys. Okay, guys. Next we got. Real good. Irresistible. You're right. Okay. Next. It's Duplo, and it's made by Fer Ferro. Gonze Nuss. I have no clue. And uh. Looks like that, I don't know if right there, if that's onion or nuts, but I don't know, it doesn't look that bad. Seems like chocolate on the uh, outside, covered with more chocolate, and I have trouble opening stuff, so we'll be right back when I can open this. I just had to run upstairs to get scissors, because I'm not good at opening stuff. I'm just that good. Oh my god. I can't even get it with the scissors. There we go. Oh my god. I opened it. Finally. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm genius. Oh. And it's all crumbled up, what do you know? And I made a big mess. That's what it looks like, and it comes with three. Oh my god, I made a mess. <laughs> looks good, though. It doesn't look good. It looks like kind of nut on the inside. Well, no. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. That's really good. It's also like a chocolate cream on the inside, too. My god. That's really good. Eight and a half out of ten. Stay says it's going well. Mmm. I like it. I really like it. Mmm. Mmm. Just eating the scraps that fell out of the bag. But on to the next food. Okay, guys. So, next. This one, I don't know why I got it. It doesn't look good at all. And it's pistachio chocolate, basically. And uh, it's all in uh, Italian. So, this is what I'm going to pronounce it. Daha Bowl Fistic. And then down here, like... I don't get what that says. So, if you guys can translate that, then you get the packaging, and uh, you get a free one. And, uh, yes, yeah, so figure out what it is, and I'm going to open it. It doesn't look the best, and it's a package inside of a package. It's golden, though, so that means it has to be good. And, oh my god. Ow. Okay. 
I like pistachios and chocolate. It's just something they would. Oh, that smells horrible. Actually, no, it doesn't. It's just the opening sm smells horrible. I like pistachios and chocolate, but you know I don't like them combined. Comes in like a big thing like that. A lot of nuts on the bottom. That's what she said. All right. So I guess we break off. Yep, a little bit. Get that. I don't know. Ready, set, go. Mm. Could barely taste the nuts. That's what she said. Gosh. Gosh, all the nuts are in my mouth. It's good. Really good. But I can barely taste the nuts. I'll give it a seven and a half out of ten. It's going so well. Come. Good job, Italians. <laughs> I am Italian if you didn't know, so it's kind of a cool thing to do. And I am making a huge mess, so I'm just putting all the crumbs on the ground. So yeah, on to the next food. Okay, so next food, we have Erged Beer Jogger. So, yeah, that's what it said. And uh, really, I need to get a Google Translate on that one because what the heck is that word right there? Can someone really translate that? God. But uh, I think the jogger means yogurt, and it's like strawberry, if you could see that. And it actually looks really good. I'm excited to try this. Oh, God. It's another one that I can't open. <sighs> Scissors. That's why they come in handy. And they snip, snip. But these ones are dull. So I... Oh, my God. I'll open it. I can't... I don't even know anymore. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I opened it with my uh, bare fingers. Or bare fingers. I opened them with like my fingers. Yeah. Mmm. Looks like the last one. Only better. Mmm. Mm -mm. Oh yeah. This looks good. Looks like exactly like the last one. Only there's no big nuts on the bottom and uh, it's uh, filled with. I'm just gonna break a little piece off. Oh my god, that looks so good. Look at the inside of that. It smells like strawberry ar artificial flavoring. That's a little piece I took. Oh my god. That's good. 10 out of 10. Oh my god. I could eat this all day, every day if I had to. Oh my god. Oh yes. Delicioso. And. Yeah, that's definitely a 10 out of 10 worthy. And uh, next one I am also excited for. So, this is what's next. Orange truffles. This looks so good. On the back, It's I think it comes in that. And, uh, yeah. 10 grams of sugar. I don't know why I read that. But these look... Oh, they come in those little things. Those little balls. And uh going to open it. And then, those are what the balls look like, filled with like an orange cream. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Go. Ow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, it took all the cream out instead of the chocolate. Mmm, so good. Hmm, I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna expect it to be better, but still, really good. Five and a half ounce M, it's a fair rating. That was a good one, I guess. Um, 
this one, th this next one is the final one. And I'm kind of have to, I'm going to have to kind of YOLO it. Because I'll just, show you, yeah, I'll, I'll show you. Well, okay, so I was smart. I'm like, what the crap is this drink? So I picked it out. And it says sleep. I'm like, is that the brand? Okay. And uh, I, there there was different kinds. And this one helps you put the, get, like, helps you sleep better. It says, new rose sleep promotes restful sleep. Property formula helps normalize sleep patterns. Sleep better and wake up more. Refresh. Narrow sleep is a tasty blend of good night nutrition like melatonin and magnesium specially form elated to give you the most golden of slumbers. Once sleep, get sleep. <laughs> Good slogan. And uh, yeah, it's mellow mango, mango. And there's other kinds like uh, Sonic. That one gives you like energy. And uh, it's actually kind of cool. So I'm going to open this. I don't know. I, I, I'm, it's day, by the way. It's like 3.45. Oh, that doesn't smell bad at all. Oh my god. I, I just hope it doesn't put me to sleep or, like, make me tired. But, uh, you know, YOLO. <sighs> I'm just kidding. So, uh, that's actually pretty good. Mm. I could taste that mango. I would definitely, it's a little watery, but I'm okay with that. But uh, I'll give it an eight and a half just because it puts me to sleep. And sometimes I have trouble sleeping. And I actually think this is a really cool drink. It, if it actually works, I'm going to try it tonight maybe. And uh, yeah, I was kind of sleeping in school today. <laughs> Well, not sleeping, but I was, I'm always tired in school. I know how everyone is. But, uh, yeah, that was the last food, and, uh, not that bad. Okay, guys, that concludes, get out of the way. That concludes this taste test, number five. And, uh, I know it was solo, but, uh, I enjoyed it. And, uh, if you want me to get more Italian food, or if you just enjoyed these taste tests overall, then please drop a like on the video. And then, uh, it shows me that you guys want more taste tests. And, uh, yeah, if you, uh, next time I'm gonna be doing this with a friend, so don't worry. And, uh, yeah, I'm Toxic Poop Gaming, and, uh, see you guys all later. Goodbye. That's awkward.